Hi guys and uh, welcome back to Retro Renovations. Now recently I was on a walk up the local what's left of the canal what would have been the Wilton Buck Canal here in Swindon and uh, we, I came across an empty lock. Now if you go back to a previous video we did of Foxton locks you'll see a canal working hiring and lowering the, the narrowboats but if you wondered how does that work? How does it transfer so much water? Because it does miraculously move a lot of water in a short space of time. So I found an empty lock and I've climbed in it. And even though the metal paddles have gone, you can picture how they work. Obviously people stand up above, winch it open and it would lift open and close a metal trapdoor inside which you can see the remains of in this closed lock. Now this closed lock has been closed for some time but it's miraculously preserved. So without much further ado I'm just going to show you the little footage from where I climbed down into the lock so you can see what they look like empty and how they worked. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm just going up the Wilkes and Barks Canal. It's, uh, that's all that's left of it. But it does look like there's an old lock. I'll just go and see it. So walking up this abandoned bit of the canal and there is a lock. Whoop! Hole there. Don't step in there. Wow, look at that. That's where the winding shaft would have been. You can actually see how this canal worked. It's unusual, you don't normally get to see them empty like that. It's very unusual to see inside a lock like this. Got the water overflow part there and I'm going to turn the camera around now Come out down and the same that side. Thank <laughs> you. 